Tony, hello! Guess who I'm talking about? He's a maniac with sharp razors on his fingers and a burned face. He can get into teenagers' dreams and kill them there. Here's a clue. Today, you are gonna face him. Good work, Tony! We are, of course, talking about the famous and terrible Freddy Krueger. First, let's find out where does this weirdo come from. No, not Tony. We already know enough about your eccentric nature anyway. Let's better talk about a little boy called Frederick. His mother went crazy after giving birth to him. Then, young Freddy was put in a foster family and he was beaten by his alcoholic foster father. Not surprisingly, at the age of 18, Freddy killed his foster father with a razor. He got away with the murder because there wasn't enough evidence to blame him. Then he got married and even had a daughter. But soon, Freddy Krueger started to kidnap and kill children. All his victims lived on Elm Street. The angry parents of the dead children took matters into their own hands. They found Freddy in a boiler room where he worked as a gatekeeper and burned him alive. But then something mystical happened. Before dying, Kruger was visited by some dream demons who offered him a deal. In exchange for his soul, he got a new life. For 10 years, no one heard about the serial killer, but then he came back and started haunting the dreams of different teenagers and killing them. This is what we see in the 1984 film A Nightmare on Elm Street, the first movie about Freddy. There have been seven films about this maniac with a bladed leather glove, and they all have become classics, just as the character itself. Well, there has been actually eight films, but the last one was a 2010 remake of the original, and it was a very, very, very bad movie. Freddy Krueger was killed several times during the films, but he always finds a way to return and keep killing people. In the film Freddy vs. Jason, the maniac with the hockey mask kills Krueger and is seen coming out of a lake with his severed head. But then we see the head winking at the camera, leaving us perplexed. So what does this mean? Is Freddy Krueger invincible? Well, it is possible to defeat Krueger, but only inside a dream. You have to understand that you are in a dream and start controlling the world inside it. Inside your dreams, you are incredibly powerful and will have no problem defeating Freddy. So now, Tony, we're going to teach you to control your dreams. So let's begin by placing a notebook next to your bed. Every day, after waking up, you have to write your dreams for a couple of minutes. By doing this, your subconscious will learn to distinguish dreams from reality. The next step is to stop eating after 6 p.m. On top of that, you must not watch TV two hours before going to bed. If you have nothing to do, read a book. And finally, you're in bed. You should choose an unusual position. This will create new sensations while sleeping, and it will be easier for your brain to focus. Now, without any rush, think of everything that happened today backwards. And now, it's time to sleep. So, take a minute to relive everything that you did during the day, but backwards. In the end, put all your experiences from the day in an imaginary balloon and send it to the sky. And now, sleep. Welcome to the dream world, Tony. It's time to turn on your conscious. Look at your hands and your feet. It'll help you materialize your own self inside the dream, and you'll stop being a puppet inside your dreams. Now you can decide where to go and what to do. For example, try to imagine a mountain of ice cream in front of you. Voila! Did you get it? You just have to imagine things and they will appear. Just like that. In the dream world, your actions are limited only by your imagination. Dear viewers, you should also try to have lucid dreams. You would be able to live different situations, prepare for future events, go back in the past, visit any place in the world, or be successful in all the things you can imagine. Practice this technique every day, and not even Freddy Krueger will be able to hunt you in your dreams. You can also watch our video about Jason Voorhees and other monsters and maniacs that Tony has fought. The links are in the description. So friends, tell us in the comments if you know any more facts about Freddy Krueger. The best stories will be featured in the next episode. Give us a like and subscribe, please. See you soon in a new episode of Super Tony. Bye-bye.